A man walked through the forest worried. He was sick and his wife was with child. He needed a godfather for the baby, someone to care for it and raise it well as he knew he probably wouldn't be able to. A light shone down from the branches. An angel appeared to the man. The Lord will care for your son. Name him the child's godfather when he goes to baptism. The man shook his head. No. God allows the poor to suffer and gives to the rich. I do not want my son to be raised by someone so unjust. The angel looked disappointed and faded away. In time, the woods began to grow dark. As the light faded, another figure approached the man. I am death. I will care for your son. Name me the child's godfather when he goes to baptism. The man nodded slowly. It is true, you come for all who need you equally. You are one of the few just men left in this world. Yes, you can care for my son. And so the child was born, a boy, and Death was named his godfather. Death appeared to the child once he was wise enough to listen. I will make you a doctor and show you the ways of medicine, he said. The hardest part of medicine is telling what is wrong and if they will survive. I will assist you in this. When you see a patient, look for me. If they will live, I will stand at their head and tell you what ails them so they may be cured. If it is their time to die, I will stand at their feet. Tell them to get their affairs in order so they can be ready for me. The boy nodded in agreement. Godfather Deaf taught him all the secrets of medicine. Soon he became a renowned doctor. He treated the rich and poor alike with compassion and certainty. He was never wrong. When the king's only daughter grew very ill, he was called to see the princess. The king promised the young doctor that he could marry her if he could cure her. The boy was struck by her beauty, but knew from the description of her symptoms that she was most likely going to die. He told the king to turn her around in bed so she was laying the wrong direction before he went to see her. He also instructed that the blankets be pulled up far over pillows placed by her feet, supposedly for her comfort. The king agreed. When the boy went to see the princess, it appeared as if she was resting uneasily amid a pile of pillows. The blankets were piled up above her head. The doctor pulled back the blankets from the foot of the bed and gazed at the ill princess. Death stood by the head of the bed. Death glared at the boy. Just as he was about to speak, the doctor passed out. He found himself in a dark room looking upward. Many lanterns glowed above him. Some were bright, but others were dim. Where am I? the boy asked. Death appeared to the boy. This is how I see the world. Every lantern is a person. When their time is near, the light grows dim until it flickers out. I lead them away from this dim place to where there is only light. From there, they will glow eternally. Take heed, boy. Everyone has a time, including you. You may have tricked me once, but do not do it again. I must be just with everyone, you included. I will not be able to warn you a second time. The boy reawakened, surrounded by the king and his attendants. The king wiped his brow nervously. So, will she live?